So what we developed here is the Brister Express. Essentially, it's a grinder on this side with your coffee extraction and your milk steaming. And it's allowing us to go from fresh bean to espresso in under a minute. So to focus on the grinding side first, we've got a variable grinder. It's a conical burr grinder with a 250 gram hopper. On the espresso side of the machine, it's driven by a thermocoil and a 15 bar Italian pump. You also see we've included a pressure gauge. Now this is to help you learn how to make coffee as you go. It gives you an indication on how much pressure you're getting at point of extraction. If your pressure's too low, we'll teach you how to get the pressure up to get the optimum flavor from your coffee. And you also have two preset dose amounts for your extraction, a single cup for 30 mils and a double cup for 60 mils. And they can be programmed for any dose you would like. And on this side of the machine, you've got your activation for your steam wand or for hot water, for use for a long black, Americano, or preheating your cup or even a cup of tea. In the back, you'll see we've got a removable water tank. So you don't have to pull the machine away from your bench and turn it around to refill. And it includes a resin filter to avoid scale going through the machine. And you should change that every two months. We also include a single and double filter for your 30 mil extraction or a 60 mil or a double, a cleaning kit for cleaning which all sits nicely in the back of the drip tray and a dosing tool to make sure we get the dose right every single time while we're tuning the machine. More on that in a second. So now I'm going to talk you through making your first cup of coffee on this machine. We've selected the double filter, just put that in the handle. We've got our grind size towards the finer end of the settings. I've currently got this on setting number four. And as we've used the double filter, select the double filter size and to activate the grinder, simply bump and release. So fresh coffee is light and fluffy when ground and it might well be too much but we'll worry about that later. So what we need to do, we'll tap and get that coffee into the filter. Grab our tamp that's held there by a magnet. Now we're tamping, hold it like you're opening a doorknob. Give it a good tamp. It's around about 15 kilos and a way to train yourself is simply pushing on a bathroom scale. And this is where the razor scraper tool comes into its own. Because what it allows us to do is to scrape off the excess coffee, ensuring that we've got our volumes of coffee right built for this machine. So simply insert the handle and extract. Now if we've got the grind size right, what we'll see is a nice flow straight pour of coffee giving us a crema. Let's see how we go. It's not too bad straight out of the box. And really that's because we're using fresh coffee. If the coffee wasn't as fresh, it's really hard to build any pressure up at all. You'll see our pressure gauge is sitting up at 12 o'clock. It's not far off of exactly where we'd like it. And there's our double espresso shot. A nice thick crema with an even color on top. Beautiful. So that extraction was fantastic. The pressure gauge sat at 12 o'clock. But if it didn't, if it was flowing too fast and there wasn't enough pressure, the first thing you would do is adjust your grind size to go a little bit finer. Then go through the process again. Bump in, grind your coffee, give it a tamp, and then make sure your volume is perfect with the razor. Then extract, and just keep trying that until you get the flow rate and the pressure right. If it's flowing too slow, you're building up too much pressure, we do the opposite. We go to a coarser grind size. Again, go through the process of making our coffee, Grinding, tamping, getting our volume right and extracting and see how it goes. Eventually, we'll get our flow rate right and that's when we worry about the volume of coffee. So what we have here is essentially a timer for the grinder. Less, it means it runs for less of a time and more, it means it runs for more. Less coffee or more coffee. So eventually over time, you'll tweak that, meaning you won't need to use your razor. Eventually get to a point where you can just wake up in the morning, grind, tamp, extract and it'll be perfect every single time. 
The last thing we need to talk about is the coffee bean itself. It's so important to buy fresh coffee beans. Why? So the longer these coffee beans have been exposed to air, the less oils. And what that means is when you go through your extraction process with old coffee, you just simply can't build the pressure up. It's that freshness and those oils that you need to build the resistance to get your pressure gauge up to get that crema perfect every time. So eventually, once you've got the right flow rate, you've built the right pressure, you've then got the right grind size, we've got our right coffee dose, it then becomes very easy. Just activate the grinder. We get as much as that coffee in the filter as possible. Tamp. And extract. While we're doing that, we can fill our milk jug up to the halfway mark. And a great tip, the halfway mark is at the bottom of the spout. Look at that pour, beautiful. As soon as our espresso shot is finished, we engage the steam. The machine will take about 10 seconds to go from the extraction temperature up to the steam generation temperature. So with texturing the milk, what we're trying to do is lean the jug back to us. We have the steam tip in at the three o'clock mark. So it's 12, three, six, nine. And what that's doing, it's aiding this swirling. We have the steam tip just out. And what that's doing, it's pushing steam into the milk and texturing it, giving this nice creamy, creamy milk at the end. And my hand is simply sitting on the bottom and that's my temperature gauge. When it's too hot to touch, that's how hot we wanna go. Okay, that's hot enough now. And what we're looking for at the end is something that should look like wet paint, silky, creamy, beautiful. Now I'm no barista, but here's the tip for pouring milk. Get the milk as close to the espresso shot as possible and just pour into the middle. There we go, a latte on the Barista Express. So this is a manual coffee machine. You have to get into the process. It's for when coffee becomes a hobby as much as a habit. Now we get asked a lot of questions over and over again. The first one would be about the coffee beans. First of all, we recommend you buy your coffee beans from the place that you enjoy your favorite coffee. Use their fresh ingredient. It's a fresh ingredient after all. And buy small bags and buy them more frequently. The optimum date for extraction for coffee is between the fourth day and around the 20th day. But a lot of coffee you'll see will have a use by date out to two years. You just can't build the pressure up with coffee that that's old. The oils have gone. So look for a roasted on date on your bags of coffee, not a use by date. And we get asked a lot about storage. Store your coffee in a cool, dark place in an airtight container. We don't recommend to put it in the fridge or the freezer. It's a moist environment and moisture isn't great for coffee. So get yourself some nice beans and just get into it. It's fantastic, you'll love it.